guys, welcome to Sew Bliss. Today I'm going to show you how to hem a pair of jeans while still using the original hem. So let's get started. For the first step, you need to try on your pair of pants and decide where you want them hemmed. So I tried mine on and I just rolled them up. This is the original hem and I just rolled them up to the point where this is where I want the new hem to lay. So I just put some pins in there to mark it. And next I'm going to take my seam gauge and I'm going to measure from the point that I marked up until this point right on my jeans. So right where my hem actually starts. So from that point to where I want it to lay is about two inches. So I'm actually going to divide that in half and then I will take my jeans and put it down to one inch because that's half of two. So whatever you measured right here, you're just gonna divide it in half and then whatever you get, once you've divided it, that's what you're gonna put your jeans down to. Now here I have my jeans pinned one inch up, like I said before, and I also matched up my side seams so you can see this point right here is in line with the side seam of the jeans and then the same thing on this side those match up as well and that will just keep it looking really nice and professional. So once you have it to this point we're then ready to sew. Now when you're sewing with jeans I recommend using a jean needle. This will work well with the heavier fabric and it'll just pierce the fabric much better than a regular needle. To sew the new hem I put a new presser foot on my machine. This is my zipper foot. So I can put my needle all the way to the left side and it'll still go down or I can put it all the way to the right side and it'll still go down. So for right now, I have mine all the way to the left because right here it's going to go down and follow along this hem right here to create the new hem. So I just have my presser foot lined up right against this hem right here and I'm just going to be stitching right in that hole and I'm going to go along. I'm just doing a straight stitch. Now if you don't have a sewing machine, you can hand sew this and you'll just sew a straight stitch. Also make sure that you're only going through this layer right here. You're not sewing your pants together, but you're just sewing all the way around it. Now once you're done sewing, your pants should look like this. You can see the stitches right along here. And if you open it up, you can kind of see how it's supposed to lay and what it's going to look like. But before we open it up, you might want to do something with this excess fabric right here. If you hemmed your pants a lot, you're gonna have a lot more fabric right here. So it'd be nice just to take it out, just so it doesn't bug you or keep turning up like this when you wear the pants. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this excess fabric off, but I am going to leave about 5 eighths of an inch so that I can surge across here so that the pants won't fray and that won't bug me. So I'm just gonna cut and then I will surge right along here as well. If you don't have a serger, you can do a zigzag stitch right across and just do it right next to where you cut so that will cut down on the fraying. Now before you cut that fabric off, I do suggest you try your pants on, making sure that you hem them at the right length. So just do that before. But here I have mine cut off and now I'm ready to serge that raw edge right there. Again, if you don't have a serger, just do a zigzag stitch right up next to this fraying right here, just so it'll help cut down on the fraying and won't bug you. Here's what my pant leg looks like once it's been serged. So I just cleaned up that edge so it won't fray. And now I'm going to open it up and with my fingers, I'm just pressing this seam that we just created up so it lays nicely. I'm just curling that one out. And next I'm gonna take this over to my ironing board and just iron that down. Now you could stop and be done right there, or if you would like, you could do a top stitch right along here, just on the other side of this seam. So that way it would hold this flap in place so you wouldn't be hitting it when you try to put the pants on. Now you don't have to do that because that does create another stitching that will be seen on the right side. Another option to keep this new seam in place is to come over to the sides of your pants and in this seam that was created, you just stitch right down it to hold that in place, that new seam that we created. So that would just hold it and tack it down on this side. Now another option, you could come from the inside of your pants and when it's folded up just like that, how it's supposed to lay, you could tack this part right here on to the seam that's already on your pants. I would do about two right there and then two on this side as well. And that'll just hold that seam in place. So 
So on my pants, I just stitched in the side seam and you can see it right here. Just barely you can see my stitches because I did use white thread. Now if you use like a blue thread or thread that matches your pants, that would make it look almost invisible. So I suggest doing that. And that will just hold the seam on the other side right in place. So now I'm ready to do the exact same thing to the other pant leg. Now you are all done hemming your jeans. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. And stay tuned for more sewing tutorials. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!